this story resonated with me and I kept dreaming how I could see it staged. It's a memory play. It's a story of Harper Flute, who is remembering and telling the story of her family, um, particularly her brother Tin, and an event that occurred when she was a child. Memory is eccentric. How it's stored. There are many themes uh, regarding fate, the family, destiny. And it asks the questions, do we, do we have control over our destiny? Um, is life a predestined fall from a great height, as the book says? I didn't mean Tim to get caught in the mudslide. I told him not to go near the water. I told him it wasn't safe. Tim was lucky, though. Now, we argued with Faith for the right to keep Tim. You know what, chicken? We won. Skin and rabbits isn't going to keep these squirts fed. You've got a piece of land here. Make it work for you. You're right, Mr Cable, but you see, I've never been a farmer. Yeah, you aren't a farmer. Fine, become one. You've got the labourers already born here. You can put that little digger to use ploughing. He'd be cheaper to feed than a horse. He's been down there a fortnight. It isn't natural, but I won't let anyone say it is. Tin will come out now that the stress is over, Rose. You want to be sure he does, Thora. Then we should let him be. Oh, leaving him be is the last thing he wants caught. The boy's beggaring for attention. I was dreaming of Tin in his tunnels, of um, Harper telling the story by the sea. Time passes slowly when you're young and quickens as you get old. Summer lasted forever when I was seven. Now it only visits. I don't remember the weeks that followed that evening on the veranda. But I do remember when we stopped thinking it was strange having a brother living beneath the floor. The story is set in the Depression uh, in Australia during the Great, Great Depression of uh, the early 1930s. And ironically, I mean, we, we started adapting three years ago, but now um, we're in this economic crisis, as they say. And um, uh, so the story... Uh, uh, may be particularly useful and relevant in, in today's society. Duh, stand up! Harper, come Damn away! It. Duh. Damn it! Please don't say that. Please don't go! Duh. Duh. We can Duh. fix this shanty, we can fix it today. See, the chimney's fine. Oh. Don't you do that! Oh. Don't you hit that child! Don't you take on misery down of the child! You're a coward, you are taken on like an infant. Do you think you're the only one living this life? You aren't. The children and I didn't ask for this. You disgust me. That house needs rebuilding and you're going to start it today. Tin, don't go so far away. Don't go back to Mr Cables. How will I find you if you go so far away? Come home! Come close to home, I look for you everywhere, I never see you anymore. I'm fascinated by that, that time um, between, time frame between of childhood and adolescence, that magical time as you leave the child and enter into early adulthood and yeah, there's, there's something magic in that time. I was getting a feeling more and more as I grew older, a feeling like my fingers were trying to reach for something they could touch but not wrap around. I didn't know it then, but I was starting to realise that the world is not one place, but two. And that you move from one to the other, only with the years. It's good that you're brave. You shouldn't let yourself be frightened, Harper. People who let themselves be frightened, they're defeated before they've even tried. Being cowardly never changed anything. It's being brave that makes the difference. Stay calm. I'm 
I feel that the audience are part of the play and part of the telling of the play and um, I, I, I would hope that they would walk away um, having been a part of hearing a seeing, feeling a, a great story. My heart is calm now, an uneasy, fitful calm. Here we are, far from where we once were, and years have gone by, but often my heart jolts and wrenches, tripping in its own memory. 